Yes, mambo vipi mambo vipi wadau Burdan is Burdan. And of course ukiniona hapa unajua hii ni duru za kuaminika courtesy of www.tripp.tv. Mimi hapa naitwa Lasiu Kipenda. Unaweza niita Mugenge. And of course it's a brand new day, uh, brand new vibes. Of course Campus Rave iliweza kukamata sana pale hivi Kips and uh, guess what we are coming to a campus next to you kuja pale hivi DM of course ni DM una watch from uh, campus gani ni wapi unaweza taka tutembee and uh, yes tutakuja tutasija ndani ya yeah but right about now straight to duru za kuaminika Unajua tunaanzanga mitaani kama kawaida and that's why I always tell you kiingia pale kwa Facebook yangu ALA hyphen C ama Instagram atala si genge niambie what's trending kwenu alafu nitakuja nitaikemba hapa Kuna pasta moja Yes Unajua wale tumesoma Biblia ama wale tunasoma uh, tunajua kuna wakati Yes alikuwa pale eh, Kiswahili ki ngumu but uh, jangwani yes akafast for a good 40 days 40 days bila kukula bila kukunywa a good 40 days and uh, pia sisi tunaambiwa ama wale uh, Christians out there and not only Christians by the way hata Muslim wakati wa Ramadhan huwa wanafunga it, it does happen and by the way Ramadhan inaanza next month for your information uh, but now this is interesting wale tunafunga huwa tunafunga siku moja mbili tatu but uh, there is pastor who attempted to fast a good 40 days kama Yesu unajua there's a difference kwa nini wewe ni binadamu na kwa nini Yesu ni Yesu there's a difference The difference kwa nini wewe eh, ni wewe na mimi ni mimi. So this guy decides that mimi nita fast a good 40 days and I'm not saying that it's not possible probably it's possible but ina depend pia na mwili yako kile inaweza handle but pale katikati siku 25 kikaumana 25 good days pia alijaribu 25 good days bila kukula na kukunywa that's heavy that's heavy anyway it's unfortunate that the pastor died after attempting 40 day jesus fast and uh unaweza ikemba hiyo story yote pale anaitwa francisco baraja unaweza kemba story yake pale hivi and uh this was huge yes uh, 39 year old man uh, kuka 25 days without food or water he he ni noma he ni noma and aliweza kupelekwa hosi pale kimbizo kimbizo wakajaribu kum, kumfufua acha nitumie jina uh, but unfortunate uh, ilikuwa ama alikuwa asha fariki ama asha aga dunia it's unfortunate but uh, whatever you do tafadhali yeah do not compare yourself to uh, the savior machana nayo yes yes you can fast but we must be sababu haijaandikwa that if you don't fast for 40 days you won't see heaven gate no haijaandikwa hivyo so you can fast a good at one hour yes your relationship na Mungu na Mwenyezi Mungu ndo ina determine kama utaona heaven gate yes that is from me yes i'm not a pastor but tukiwa tu hapo hapo i've seen pastor ama reverend natasha say that being in the ministry is rahisi yes and this is what happened to who you pass sababu reverend natasha anasema sometimes it's painful sometimes expectations za kukuwa perfect zinazidi and uh, sometimes expectations za watu kwako kama minister yes and i think this pastor was trying to prove a point alafu ikashindikana so i agree with the lucy natasha uh, mama ora for that it's not easy being in the ministry it's not easy unless you are this man of god yes a word look at this motor kid angalia tu wewe ikembe uh-uh. take a minute ikembe buda wewe niambia ati si rahisi kukuwa uh, in the ministry this seems to be pretty easy he ah he now ni rahisi angalia motor kid ata the last time i checked magari mzito mzito hivi hata watu wa serikali hawana hii motor kid yes Meona, meona au magari. And uh, this is a pastor, a man of God in the ministry. Alafu leo wewe unaniambia sio rahisi. 
I think near this. But anyway, send me key to tell me what you think about that. Is a store resort. Uh, of course, you watch your feedback pile triple P T V across all social media platforms, Alasi Facebook and at Alasi Gang on Instagram. But to kia chana na hayo to ingye bado bado wapi meta ani and uh kwanza toke in chini ya Kenya to end pale Taki. Yes, footballer Christian Atsu found dead after Taki earthquake. Maze it's a, it's unfortunate and Sidani to liweza kusoma earthquake ya pale Taki. Yes, we did. You all remember how you all saw it in the trend sana sana sana. And this guy, this young man right here, aliweza kutafutwa sana. And uh bada ya me patikana si kukada bada ya earthquake. And uh, of course, I'm a Vatican. Akiwa ame fariki, ama ame aga dunia. For leze to see wafikia familia yake, ma fans water wa football, and of course the Ghanaian team manze poleni sana kwa kuluz moja wenu. May his soul rest in peace. Suki taka kusoma more about the news. Of course, iko pale kwa site www.triplep.tv. Some other good news right about now. Yes, naona hapa. Peter Miracle Baby and his girlfriend Karo Katru, yes, girlfriend, wife, yes, I can confirm that. Peter Miracle Baby and wife Karo Katru welcome their first child together. Sasa wanaitwa baba na mama Ronix. Ukiweza kuwaona wawili hawa, of course wapatie pongezi zetu ziwafikie and uh, it's it's a good thing. Aswa kuona wawili hawa kwa industry. Uh, walianza kama wasanii wa Gengeton ama Peter alianza kama msanii wa Gengeton and amekuja ameteka the Mogidi industry as a songwriter and appear as a performer na mwanamuziki pia pale pale. And of course Akavuta bibi yake ambaye ni Karo Katru and the two seem to be doing very well in the Mogidi industry. In fact, jana tu wali achilia nyimbo mpya unaweza ikemba pale YouTube. And of course their page is Miracle and Katru. Kimbia pale wapatia sa hiyo support kama zawadi ya kupokea mtoto. And uh, congratulations. It's a good thing when an industry couple wanafanya vyema so kuna umuhimu wa kuwa pongeza. And talking about the industry, the gospel industry ni kama sasa sitaki kusema ni kama imeamka juzi sasa kwa nimesema imelala. Uh, Eric Mondi ndo alisema imelala and uh, it seems that wamesikia. Uh, Manake Benachi, Moji Short Baba and Guardian Angel wako na nyimbo mpya pale unaweza ikemba Mash Moana featuring Daddy Owen Pia and uh, the, the two songs ziko salama ziko fit zimesimama unaweza zikemba and of course tell us what you think about that keep it at Triple P TV cuz I know the songs will be playing back to back tumetoka Valentines yes siku ngapi sasa zimeisha hata si 10 mm -mm. hata 8 7 hivi zimeisha kutoka Valentines and uh, a lot has happened uh, later on East African number one couple siju kama walikuwa wamefikia kuitwa hivyo yes eh, i'm talking about Diamond and Zuchu wamefunguka na Zuchu alianza na ku announce that ako single aka delete picture zote i don't know what happens ama ni nini mnaambi wangu mkiwachana kwanza delete photos pili unfollow each other on instagram and uh, social media zingine zote i don't know nani alisemanga inafaa kuwa hivyo and uh, of course zuchu akasema pale usikuwe unani tag kwa picha zako e, nini 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 and uh, diamond platinum spia amefunguka na ame confirm the breakup is official aliweza kuanika pale kwa mitandao akisema yeye pamoja na Zuhura Zuhura being Zuchu uh, wanataka kujulisha ulimwengu that the two are no longer together hawako ame confirm kiukweli lakini mienendo tabia na muonekano zilikuwa zishatu confirmia but they never came up uh, vizuri kwa pamoja hivi kusema ye hey, hey, huyu ni mpenzi na huyu ni mpenzi a ah, ah, uh, na sijui kwa nini wakati wa break up wamejitokeza na ku announce but anyway hayo ni yao that is my opinion and someone else who seems to have an opinion on this story is Willy Paul Pose a uh, Willy Paul message to Zuchu and Diamond Platinums after the breakup ameingia hapa akasema sasa umepiga kiki zimeisha Unaanza kujirudia wa as is hard. Stories za kawaida hizo bana. Au zoo amefanya ile kitu. Mimi niliacha kiki. Saa hii ni mziki mzuri tu my friend. That is Willie Paul Pose of course addressing Diamond Platinum's and Zuchu. 
and um kawaida mnajua haya maneno ya watu wawili ambao ni wapenzi hapa kwa duru huwa hatuingilili sana manake inaweza kuwa ni nyimbo ya zuchu inapushiwa we all know that she has a new single out there inaweza kuwa kuna nyimbo ingine wamefanya pamoja eh, so wana create story that is why Willy Paul anasema kuj, uh, story za kiki mm. zimeisha sasa unajirudia kiki after kiki I don't know what you have to say about this but nataka unipatie opinion yako pale kwa mitandao jiwachilie feel free tuambie what you think about those stories turudi nchini Kenya tafadhali Kenyan socialite Pesh released from Ghanaian prison after seven years uh, you remember Pesh sijui kama wamkumbuka huyu hapa yes those are uh, seven years back alikuwa anateka sana mitandao alikuwa anatesa vinoma noma and uh, she was arrested and jailed pale Ghana after claims tetesi uh, who are there there was a Nigerian uh, boyfriend ama lover who was using her to traffic drugs sasa inaka amewachidiwa sababu ame post on um, her social media platforms after a good seven years and aka weka post moja pale inspirational ama ka testimonio hivi 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 ukitaka kujua imefikia wapi story yake unaweza ikemba pale uh, www.tripop.tv of course leave your opinion on that story and uh, tutaikemba hapa unajua wa Kenya tunakuanga na majanga wa Kenya huwa tunasababisha sana kwa mitandao but pia we have our own wins and why am i saying this hivi mlijua kuna mwanabiashara mmoja mkenya based in the new york anafanya vizuri sana kwa biashara yake ya kahawa hivi ulijua no najua hauko unajua but sasa jua hivyo and this lady right here margaret nyamumbo ameweza kutushtua amenishtua mimi manake aliweza ku win pale kwa ile shark tank unajua mnajua ile shark tank where the billionaires sit there hivi kwa ka panel unakuja una propose your idea ama una propose biashara umekuwa ukifanya unawapea percentage kwa biashara wanakupea pesa yes duri za kuaminika is that US best Kenyan entrepreneur Margaret Nyamumbo wins an investment of 44 million Kenya shillings in reality TV show Shark Tank aliweza kufunguka she managed to convince one of the sharks pale na akapata investment akapeana 8% of her company so you can imagine the world you can imagine the potential kama 8% ndo unapewa 44 million think about that na nikahawa tu Yes, uh, that is a Kenyan doing as proud pale nze. And another Kenyan ama other Kenyans who have done as proud in the past is Femi One and Major. Check these guys uh, who are not Kenyans vibing to this song up. Yes. You guys know like Femi One and Major? Yeah, we know yeah, Major uko uko. Uko uko na kitambo taweza na tawezana. Nikikupa utaweza na tawezana. Manze Femi One nikikupata nitakupenda kabila na penda tambla. Utawezana. Imagine to tell you tawezana. Yes. These are not Kenyans but uh, they are vibing to that song. Uh, this is an amazing thing. Manze kuona pia mziki wetu huwa unapenya nchi za nje. So tusijizarau watu wangu. Yes, tuweze kujikubali and of course keep pushing. And talking about Kenyan music, this is BN and uh, Diamond Platinum's vibing hapa kwa inauma inauma. Inauma inauma lakini And this is after Diamond ame inasemekana unajua hawa watu wa kiki ni hard sana inasemekana amewachwa uh, na Zuchu uh, so probably this is a remix coming through yes BN na Diamond walikuwa pale in London yes BN in London uh, wakiwa na Diamond Platinum so waki vibe to the song and uh, yes watu wameanza ku speculate that this might be a remix coming through and of course keep it duro za kuaminika manaka ikifanyika tutakuwa hapa kukupeleka na rada this has been duro nyingi ziko pale kwa site unaweza zikemba kuja pale ala-c on facebook atala si genge on instagram tiktok and twitter and of course triple p tv across all social media platforms see you tomorrow for different duros yes tumekafunga tumekafunga wana banjuba na wana katika Wanacheka sana